Hi, and welcome to this series of videos created for R3 Data Recovery. This video focuses on how to use the file list viewer software provided free by R3 Data Recovery and how to download the software from their website. OK, we're going to move on to my desktop now to look at the next part in the process. Once you've sent your data for recovery and it has been completed successfully, you will receive an email from R3 Data Recovery. I'm just opening up my Outlook and here you can see I've received an email from R3 Data Recovery and inside it is a zip file which contains the CSV which I'm going to use. We need to save this somewhere convenient. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to put it onto my desktop just for convenience. And if I minimize Outlook, you can see here it is ready for operation on my desktop. Next, you will need to download the file list viewer software from the R3 data recovery website. R3 have provided a link in the email that they send to you. I should click on the link, which will take me through straight through to the R3 Data Recovery website where we can download the software. Here's the website opening and it takes us straight through to the R3 software and here you can see the R3 file list viewer software. By clicking on here it will download and then you just need to save it somewhere convenient. The next part of the process is to open the file list viewer software which I've got ready in my taskbar. Here you can see it's ready to accept a file list. If I click on the icon that says open file list it will then take me through a window where I have to tell it where to look to find the CSV file. I've already pointed mine which was on the desktop and put it here ready to go click it open and the file list viewer software automatically starts to build the folder structure. Here we see the folder structure complete and if I double click on the root and then into my folders here we can see the folders which have been recovered. You can then start to drill down to the requirements of yourself depending on which files and folders you wish to look at. So if I wanted to look at users I can click in users, go down into my administrator and you can drill down, drill down until you find the appropriate files and folders. Once you're happy with the data and the files that are inside the folders it's then simply a matter of clicking on the approval This will automatically open your email client. My default is Outlook. It populates with the R3 data recovery email address and it just confirms that the file list contain, contains the data that you're looking for. As soon as you send that off, R3 data recovery will receive it and then will action the return of your media.